I'm Carl Yanyama. I'm the president and CEO of Motional, and I've been developing autonomous vehicles for my entire adult life. The Ionic 5 Robotaxi is the product of extensive collaboration between Hyundai and Motional. We're excited by this vehicle because it's our first commercial product. It's also the first time many people will experience driverless technology. So we look forward to launching this system in 2023. And we look forward to serving hundreds of thousands of riders with the Ionic platform. The societal benefits of driverless vehicles you know, are enormous. And first and foremost is safety. And Motional's driverless technology promises to greatly reduce or even eliminate the vast majority of accidents. Beyond safety, you know, driverless technology will make transportation more efficient, more reliable, and more affordable. You know, we've also celebrated our technology we have prominently incorporated our sensors in the design. So you know when you approach this vehicle that you're getting into a robo-taxi, and we think riders will really be excited by that. The first thing we looked at was the Hyundai Electric Global Modular Platform. It ensures a spacious interior, and in the robo-taxi, passengers are free from driving, they can enjoy a comfortable living space while they relax, work, or socialize. This platform will allow people to have greater freedom of movement in their everyday lives. You know, whether that's a family with kids who just need some extra transportation resources, or a young professional who wants to make better use of his or her commute, or you know, elderly or disabled riders who don't have great access to transportation today. The Ionic 5 is the right vehicle for Motional from a sustainability perspective. It brings together the two most transformative technologies in mobility, electrification and autonomy. This is a zero emission robo-taxi that will not only make transportation safer and more accessible, it'll make it more sustainable. And that was incredibly important to us as we thought about the role of autonomous vehicles in helping to create greener cities through smart mobility. So stay tuned to see how the robo-taxi elevates our lifestyle and contributes to carbon neutrality together with other platform solutions like urban air mobility and purpose-built vehicles. When we spoke to the Ministry of Transport, the Land Transport Authority, there was a lot of talk about uh, looking to driverless cars, right? So, so out we went globally looking for relevant uh, driverless, driverless cars uh, startups to invest in. Um, of course, the prerequisite is that they, they, uh, you know, they have to be keen to set up a Singapore presence, you know, like, like a R&D presence, for example, because that's the capability building that we're looking for. So. Um, just to give you an example, uh, EDBI, in 2016, we invested in this uh, company called Newtonomy. It was a Boston HQ. They were working on autonomous uh, driving. What attracted us to them was uh, two of their scientists. One of them actually was an advisor to the Mars rover. So obviously when a Mars rover lands on Mars, it has to be fully autonomous, right? Because the speed of light, the, the, the signal takes about 20 minutes. So it has to be fully autonomous. Then they decided to uh, translate that technology for earthbound cars, you know, so, so we thought that's not bad. Uh, maybe we should take a deeper look. And then they committed to having significant R&D done in Singapore. Actually, um, the Singapore MIT Alliance for Research and Technology, SMART, SMART, um, one of their professors was actually seconded to SMART in Singapore. So he was already teaching a lot of uh, uh, students on autonomous driving uh, technologies. And uh, so, so yeah, the com commitment was to actually have a fully owned subsidiary in Singapore and to actually, uh, you know, uh, work on autonomous driving in Singapore. So, so we invested in them because they had a very strong Singapore angle. And, and fast forward to the present, uh, Newtonomy was uh, acquired by um, a company called Aptiv. And then um, Aptiv entered into a joint venture with Hyundai. Right, and then the joint venture is now called Motional. Uh, Motional is obviously headquartered in Boston, uh, but guess what? The R and D remains in Singapore because it, it had the uh, elements of the Newtonomy R and D staff, mostly Singaporeans. Um, so so Motional's uh, R and D is is uh, in Singapore, and if you read the news recently, only as uh, Two, three days ago, there was a big announcement about Hyundai setting up an advanced um, 
manufacturing center to manufacture electric vehicles and smart cars. If you dig deeper, uh, it is also leveraging on Motional's R&D, which then I believe is also leveraging on ultimately uh, EDBI's investment into new autonomy in 2016. And we put a very small check, but this is what we want to see, a very long tail knock-on effect that is beneficial for Singapore. So for very small check size, we have attracted all the necessary capabilities so that for the first time in history, I believe Singapore is literally manufacturing smart cars, right? A tiny little country where it was never known to be a manufacturer of cars. It always, when you talk about manufacturer of cars, it tends to be Japan and the US, right? You know, the Toyotas of the world, the Fords of the world. Um, but you never hear of Singapore manufacturing cars. So just only last week, very proud to, to say that Singapore is finally manufacturing smart cars. And uh, the future of autonomous, uh, you know, um, autonomous cars uh, to be exported globally. So very soon you'll see a Hyundai uh, Ionic 5 uh, car uh, with the auto autonomous uh, um, technology um, born out of Singapore or so spun out of Singapore, um, plying the roads uh, in the United States and eventually Singapore, right? So that, that's great. So that's how we, it's a very long story, but I just want to, you know, uh, drive home the point that it's, it's all very targeted when we speak to the various uh, government agencies. As a mother, an autonomous vehicle is really a frightening thing for me. There has to be some system in place that makes sure that the car is up to a certain standard. I'm Candace Jones, a certified drive examiner for the DMV. I've been doing it for about 25 years. In that time, I have failed thousands and thousands of students in the interest of public safety. If I take about 18 a day, three would pass. And we're gonna get this started. Do you think it'll pass? I have my doubts. It's going to be the same criteria, just like testing a human. We'll be monitoring the speed. Are you going too fast, too slow? How it does a lane change. Did you signal early? Did you signal late? Did you forget to signal? Nice. I'm going to grade maneuvers. Making a complete stop. Nice stop. We have left turns. Did you maintain your lane when you made the turn? Perfect left turn. And of course, reaction time is very important. Oh, their hands are full. Surprisingly, it was a perfect score. Oh my gosh, that's yeah. awesome. I'm impressed. I'm giving it a thumbs up. Well, Pearl, <laughs> where's your first ride? What do you say we take a week or two just me and Welcome. you? We're on our way. In the car. Really cool. <laughs> I drove here all by myself and I don't need a ride home. <laughs> I don't need more than I'm feeling. Got you loving me.